Hi, I'm going to demonstrate the forklift running check that is part of the forklift test. What we're going to do, when you go up the forklift, make sure you have three point contact. One, two, three, to go up the forklift. Once you're on the forklift, put on your seat, your seat belt. Make sure the seat is comfortable. You're able to reach all your pedal. Comfortable. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to turn on the key as we're going to check. The, con the instrument panel. Make sure there's no red light on. Otherwise, something is not correct. Once we got that done, we're going to check your indicator. We check your right hand indicator first. You check the front indicator, also the back one. Make sure they are working. And then you check the other one on the left hand side, make sure this indicator at the front and indicator at the back, they are working. We're going to check the headlight. The headlight up here, just in case sometimes it's getting very dark. The control, the switch, just on your left hand side next to the column steering here. We turn it on, they are working, and then we look at the back, we go to the back, have a look first. We're going to check your brake light, make sure the brake light are working so people can see your braking. Additional, you can have a look at this, is a warning light on top. So while you're working, this one is a flashing light. People know you're working with the forklift. So this is one of the warning light. Reverse light. When we reverse, this is control the reverse. We we'll push it to reverse. Your reverse light is working at the back. Okay, all the lights are Finish, we check the horn. Make sure the horn is working. So once we finish that, we're going to check our lifting control. Now, before we are going to check why we need to check your uh, lifting, number one, we make sure it's working and also you lubricate you know, all the uh, rubber and all the inside. So we try to lift up your lifting cylinder. It's called a vertical cylinder. When you lift it up, you always watch over the roof and also the light. Make sure you're not going to hit anything. So once you push it to the top, then you push it down. Make sure it's working. And also we're going to check the two cylinder. The forward tail, backward tail. The both are working. Also we're going to check the side shift. All the way to one side, all the way to the other side, back to the middle. So, they're all working. Now what we're going to do, we're going to check the steering control and the foot brake as well. Now, we we'll try to reverse the forklift trunk and back. Remember, before you reverse, you must look back first. Make sure there's no one at the back. Your handbrake is off. So, what we're going to do, we select the gear, reverse. So we 
try to turn the steering slowly and also move slowly to one way to lock one way and also we lock the other way so the steering is working and we stop we see if the brake is working so the brake is working as well so we put on the hand brake we're going to check if there's any fluid leak on the floor if there's any fluid leak you can see the liquid on the floor so the last thing we check is the hand brake we already applied the hand brake we see if the hand brake able to hold the forklift so we push it to the forward gear and we accelerate gently and it does hold the forklift so the forklift is not moving and then this way we can know, we know the forklift is you know, in a good working order now if we need to do any work now we can do the work now so this is called a forklift running check thank you